Hi, now I'm going to demonstrate to you a basic static analysis on the malware called Hanuman. The tools that I'm going to use for this demonstration are Win, MD5, PEI, D, PEView, Dependency Walker, and Bintext. Basic static analysis is for examining the executable file without viewing the actual instructions. On top of that, it can determine whether the file is malicious and provide information about its functionality. To begin, first we have to unzip the zipped malware as you can see here. The reason as to why the malware is zipped is to prevent any unauthorized access to this particular malware. The malware is then zipped in this folder called Hanuman. After unzipping the malware, I'm going to start off by using the winamed 5. Basically this tool is to compute the hash value of any files. In this case, we are going to use the malware, Hanuman, to compute the hash value, to obtain the value. We just have to open the software and just drag the malware to it, and voila. Here's the hash value of this malware. Next. We should find out whether the malware is packed or otherwise by using the next tool which is PEED. Similarly, it applies the same process by dragging the malware to the tool. Uh, we can also browse through the file in your desktop. Here you can see that the malware is not packed. And how do I know? Simple. We just need to focus on only two things which is the EP section and the description below. If the EP section is clearly stated and known like shown here which is dot text, it means that the malware is not packed. Also, the description box below shown is the name of the compiler to compile this particular malware. LCC stands for Local C Compiler. To identify when is Hanuman created, we have to use this next tool, Paview. This tool provides an easy and fast way to view the content as well as the structure of portable, executable P files. By clicking the image NT header and image file header next, it will then display the description and details of the files here. Proceed on to analyze more information for this malware. We shall identify what are the DLL functions that this particular malware imports. Repeat the same process of dragging the malware in this tool. As you can see, there are a total of four DLLs that Hanuman has imported, mainly. They are WSOCK32, DLL, Kernel32, DLL, User32, DLL and CRT DLL DLL. By clicking on each you can see all the functions that each DLL imports on the right side. 4. Double USOCK32 DLL. The function tells us that it is just trying to access and connect to the internet. This DLL should not be removed. Deleted or stopped as doing so might cause the system not to function properly. Kernel32, DLL on the other hand, is processing memory management, input or output operations, and interrupts, as Windows boots up. This particular DLL is then loaded into a protected memory space to avoid other applications to take over. Hence, we can then deduce that this process is registered as a backdoor. Trojan and that this malware, Hanuman is dangerous, therefore, kernel 32, DLL should be removed, stopped and deleted. User 32, DLL is just a system process that is required for the operating system to function properly. Hence, similarly like double USOCK 32, DLL, it should not be removed deleted or stopped as it will cause the system not to work properly. This last DLL
which have CRTD LLDLL is mainly used for developing projects that required runtime libraries such as Sprint, Exit and etc. As displayed here, once again, it should not be removed, deleted or stopped. Lastly, the last tool that I'm going to use is bin text. This purpose of this tool is to extract text to strings from application or any files. It can even go to the extent of extracting the email ID as well as passwords from application. In this case, the file that I'm extracting is the malware, Hanuman. Here as you can see there are many strings, texts and functions related to Hanuman. However, not all are relevant, hence, we have to analyze carefully and find for strings that look suspicious. For instance, Hanuman alert looks suspicious, as it might be that this malware has been executed and displayed a warning box alert. Next, this string also looks suspicious. It may be that Hanuman is trying to access to this particular server and website other than that. This tool will just display the DLLs imported as well as the functionality. This concludes the end of the demonstration. From all of these analyses from all the five tools used, we can deduce that this malware is trying to create a backdoor pass to access to the targeted a victim's computer to execute its malware and hence capture all the relevant information of the victim. Thank you for your time. See you.